packed to the brim with ancient monuments left over from a parade of empires, and endowed with showcase scenery that never fails to impress, Turkey is a dazzling destination that straddles Asia and Europe. Its vibrant culture, famous food, and vast history wow all who venture here, while its glorious landscapes, from the sun-soaked Mediterranean to the mighty mountains and arid steppe, are tourist attractions in themselves. Number 10. Pamukkale The bright white terraces of Pamukkale are surely one of the most photographed sites in Turkey, incongruously gleaming above the rural town like freshly fallen snow. The warm mineral water that flows through them was the basis for the ancient spa city of Hierapolis, whose extensive remains sprawl out along the hilltop next to the famous Travertons. Pamukkale also makes a good base for visiting other nearby ancient sites like Laodicea, Tripolis, and, most notably, the gorgeous ruins of Aphrodisias with its impressive collection of Roman marble sculptures. Number 9. Safranbolo Named for the saffron that was grown and traded here for centuries, Safranbolo is today popular with visitors who come to soak in its old Ottoman atmosphere. Many of the town's historic wood-framed mansions have been restored and converted into picture-perfect boutique hotels, cafes, and restaurants. If it all starts to seem a little too cutesy, the canyons, Waterfalls and woods of the nearby Yenis Forest are a natural tonic. Number 8 Oludinas, impossibly turquoise blue water. Check. Lush green forest tumbling down a cliff to a white sand beach. Check. The sheltered inlet of Oludinas, just a short journey from Fethi, is Turkey's most famous beach, and with scenery that might as well have fallen off a perfect postcard, it's easy to see why its popularity hasn't waned. If the beach gets too crowded, it's time to take to the skies and experience the stunning aerial views on a tandem paragliding dive off the summit of mighty Babadag, Mount Baba, which rises up behind the shore. Oh, did we mention that Oludniz is one of the world's top paragliding destinations? Check! Number 7 Mount Nemrut The top sightseeing drawcard for eastern Turkey. Mount Nemrut's summit funerary mound is scattered with the broken remnants of once mammoth statues, which guarded it. This weird and lonely place has to be one of Turkey's most peculiar archaeological sites. The giant stone heads of long-forgotten gods stare out from the summit, casting an eerie atmosphere over the barren mountaintop. The summit's building works are the work of Antiochus I, ruler of the Commagene Kingdom which lay here in the buffer region between the Roman and Parthian empires. Antiochus I dedicated this grand funerary mound to himself as a showcase of his importance, raising a 50-meter-high artificial peak on Mount Nemrut's summit, and then decorating it with statues of himself and various gods. The most popular time to visit is at sunrise, so you can watch the statues as they loom out of the dark. Number 6. Cruising the Mediterranean Turkey's Mediterranean coastline has ruins galore and many things to do, but for many people, it's all about soaking up the sun while enjoying the gorgeous coastal views. Cruising on a yacht is the number one activity for visitors to Bodrum and Fethi for good reason. The steep forest-clad slopes, hidden coves sporting tiny white sand beaches, and hundreds of scattered islands are the perfect place for exploring by sea. Even die-hard landlubbers will be impressed. One of the most famous trips is known as the Blue Cruise and travels from Fethi south down the coast until disembarking near Olympus, home to the famous natural phenomenon of the Chimera. Number 5. Antalya This bustling Mediterranean hub has something for everyone. The two main beaches outside of town are Sunslof Heaven in summer and attract holiday makers from across Europe, while the old town area, snug right in the center of town, with its cobblestone alleyways rimmed by creaky Ottoman-era mansions, is a wonderful place to explore. The Antalya Museum is renowned as one of the country's best, with an astonishing collection of Hellenistic and Roman marble statuary, and there are bags of attractions outside of town for travelers who want to use Antalya as a base. In particular, Antalya is an easy base for day trips to some of Turkey's most famous Greco-Roman ruins, including Aspendos and Purge, which are just outside the city, and the town of Side, with its glut of ruins. Number 4 Top Copy Palace Sumptuous beyond belief, Istanbul's Top Copy Palace takes you into the fantastical, opulent world of the sultans. It was from here, 
during the 15th and 16th centuries that the sultans of the Ottoman era carved out an empire that would extend up into Europe and down through the Middle East and into Africa. The interiors, with their decadently exuberant tiling and lavish jewel decor, are an unforgettable peek into the Ottomans' power base. In particular, don't miss the Imperial Council building, where the empire's business was conducted by the Grand Vizier, the arms collection displayed in the Imperial Treasury, the world-class collection of miniature paintings, and the dazzling harem rooms, which were designed by the famed Ottoman architect Sinan. The surrounding public gardens were once the sole domain of the royal court, but are now open to the public and provide a tranquil, green respite from the city streets. Number 3 Cappadocia The surreal, swooping rock valleys of Cappadocia are every photographer's dream. Cliff ridges and hill crests are home to rippling panoramas of wave-like rock or wacky-shaped pinnacles that have been formed by millennia of wind and water action. And if you don't feel like hiking for the views, this is one of the world's top destinations to take a hot air balloon ride. Nestled in this unique lunar-like landscape are the frescoed rock-cut churches and cave-cut architecture of the Byzantine era, when this area was home to monastic Christian communities. In particular, the multiple cave churches of Gorim Open Air Museum and Ilara Valley are home to some of the best examples of surviving mid-Byzantine era religious art in the world. Cappadocia's villages, half-hewn into the hillsides, where travelers base themselves to explore the surrounding countryside, are also an attraction in themselves, with their boutique hotels that allow you to bed down in a cave with full contemporary comforts. Number 2 Ephesus Not to be missed, the mighty ruin of Ephesus is a city of colossal monuments and marble-columned roads. One of the most complete, still standing famed cities of antiquity in the Mediterranean region. This is the place to experience what life must have been like during the golden age of the Roman Empire. The city's history dates back to the 10th century BCE, but the major monuments you see today all date from its Roman era, when it was a thriving commercial center. In particular, the Library of Celsus, the complex of frescoed terraced houses, and the great theater all point to the wealth and importance of Ephesus during the Roman period. A sightseeing trip here will take at least half a day to cover the major highlights and longer if you really want to explore, so make sure you plan your visit so you don't feel rushed. Number 1 Hagia Sophia Renowned as one of the most beautiful buildings in the world, the spellbinding Byzantine glory of the Hagia Sophia Mosque, Hagia Sophia, is not only one of the top things to do in Istanbul, but also in Turkey. Built by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian in 537 CE, it is renowned as the Byzantine Empire's greatest architectural achievement and has remained the world's largest church for 1,000 years. The staggering bulk of its exterior is rimmed by the delicate minarets added after the Ottoman conquest, while the sumptuous and cavernous frescoed interior is a grand reminder of old Constantinople's might and power. This famed monument is a must-do for every tourist visiting the country. The video has come to an end, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave like it and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot for us to continue bringing this type of content here. Until the next video.